Mixed markets on Wall Street Tuesday as investors await details on Washington's coronavirus aid plan. Uh, let's discuss that along with uh, the Fed's two-day meeting that just started today with Max Wolf of Multivari joining me from New York City. Welcome back, Max. Um, well, yesterday, uh, Max, the market was up on stimulus hopes. Today, stocks trading mostly lower after the Re Senate Republicans unveiled their $1 trillion package yesterday. What's Wall Street so concerned about? Well, first of all, I think there was a little bit of hope that the $3 trillion would be $2 trillion more beneficial to the economy than the $1 trillion. I think beyond that, though, because businesses are pretty favorably disposed to the Republican plan, even though it's smaller, was the hope that this would go fast. There is some sense here that the old stimulus is wearing out before the new stimulus is in place, and some hopes for a really rapid resolution were kind of dashed by the sense that folks were actually getting further apart. And the two parties as opposed to closer together, I think that hurts. I think it's also pretty clear that the $400 per week reduction is going to mean a lot less meals bought at, at restaurants and a lot less money for a lot of struggling households. And there's also starting to be a ramped up fear that the eviction exploration protections all take place when August arrives in the next few days. And if there's no stimulus, then we're going to see possibly millions of people get evicted, which is going to be bad for consumer sentiment and bad for the GDP. Well, uh, Maxon, what does Wall Street need to see in order to keep the rally going in terms of the, the, the package? It's not quite clear, but I think they need to see that the magic continues, that the recession can be put off into the future. And by the time we actually have to deal with the recession, we can at least be going back to normal or whatever the new normal is on the tail end of Corona. I think part of the issue with the coronavirus, especially as the second wave hits some places, and the first wave gets more serious, increasingly in the Midwest, it looks like, is that we have the two things the market likes least, looming something negative and no real handle on it. When does it end? When does it peak? I think we had really had a rally that was in part factored on the notion that we had seen the worst of it. Still hope that's true, but numbers from California, Florida, Texas, and now from Ohio and the Midwest are starting to make people believe that we might have been seeing the worst of wave one and now we're going to see a wave two and then possibly a wave three in the fall. And so it's getting harder to know when we can go back to normal and remove the stimulus. And that, of course, makes the stimulus more important. Which means, uh, which must mean, I assume you're still, still sticking to your gun saying that given the uncertainty over the coronavirus, that uh, um, stocks are, are not going to be in for a good fall or uh, late summer. They're going to be in for a fall, uh, but not a good fall. I mean, there is no longer a debate here. It's sort of a question of when, right? So I, I'll give you the perfect example. The New York real estate market had seemed shockingly resilient to this until a couple of days ago. And now the rents are down by $1,000 for lots of apartments in lower Manhattan in two days. So when the future you forestalled arrived, it can arrive without much gentleness and with all due haste. Meaning you're expecting a big correction soon in, in the stock yeah, market? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're overdue for that. I think at some point, look, the market was down when we thought we were going to have a trade dispute with China. It's now worse than we ever imagined. And the market was down when we thought we were going to have a problem with the corona, which is now, the coronavirus is now worse than we ever expected. So I'm not really sure here what the thoughts are exactly. I think the one fear we got over in the markets, which is interesting, is for a while I think there was some fear that a Biden election might be problematic. I think the markets can price that okay. I don't think that's a little bit fear. It's nice to have one checked off the list, but the other two bigger ones remain. Lastly, Max, can't let you go. You're an economist. I want to hear what you expect to hear from the Fed to say tomorrow at the conclusion of its two-day policymakers meeting. So, so to me, it's all going to be the action on how much quantitative easing was done and what we hear about it. Because the Fed's been a very, very active buyer of assets here and sort of forestalled the plan that was to reduce the holdings. We're now in the accumulate phase. I want to see what they're accumulating because I think they've been more active in sub investment grade areas than we would have guessed because they keep they've kind of kept on expanding where they'll go and what they'll buy and if you look at the markets it's kind of all about the fed it's whatever gifts are on the fed slash santa's list this year are red hot and if santa's not buying in your market then you're actually reflecting high risk and asset weakness so it, it's pretty stark what you see what they buy and what they don't all right <laughs> i never thought i'd hear an allusion to santa claus but Thanks a lot for that. July Santa. <laughs> July, a summer Santa, or that's what we'll call it. Thanks a lot, Max, for your thoughts. Thank you. Our thanks to Max Wolf of Multivariate. I'm Fred Katayama in New York, and this is Reuters.